Oh, I was busy stitching. Good morning, welcome to Natasha Makes. It's Monday, we are making it Monday, yes we are. Um, and oh my goodness, have we got a lot of goodies on the show for you today. I'm gonna take this off the set for a moment, but if um, it was there to remind me to let you know, uh, because I know that so many of you have bought uh, the Odeal Click Clack bag, which we've got on the show today. And if you have, um, then the only thing that you need to do is add in either some cardboard, it, you know, it can be as simple as, uh, you know, a bit of packing from an Amazon box or something, um, or I used two lots of the S80. That was just there to remind me um, that you might want to do that should you wish. Did you have a good weekend, first of all? Did you have fun? Hands up those of you that went to festival, yep. Um, and hands up how many of you had a great time there, yep. Uh, do you know what, I, I have to say kudos, complete kudos to the organisers of festival this year. They did an amazing job in, uh, in really tricky times. They made it feel safe. The aisles were really, really wide, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, I went with Kaif on Friday and did lots of filming with him, so we weren't blocking anyone's view because everyone could see around us. And then on the Saturday, I took my kids and I started off keeping them on like a really short, tight leash, uh, trying to get them to behave. And then by the time that Brandon had been mucking about with them, um, and <laughs> I was like, why am I even trying? So it was just really nice because um, they were able to get out, stretch their legs, and um, well, I say, I mean, Freddie obviously isn't in a pram or pushchair or anything like that. Uh, but Emily did have a little, a little buggy, and um, and it just meant that actually, they led the way, and it was so fascinating to have seen Cave's take on festival on the Friday, and then on the Saturday, to have had. To see the festival through the eyes of a two and a seven year old and what drew them, which quilts, they were like, wow, that's amazing. Um, Emily just kept calling them pictures. Um, that was what she didn't realise that they were fabric, some of them, because they were so incredibly awesome. Um, but it was really interesting to see what drew different people. It was absolutely fascinating. So, um, you know, they did run wild a little bit, but they didn't touch any quilts. So <laughs> apologies if they got under your feet. But you know what, like I say, the aisles were so beautifully wide that there just wasn't an issue. And I really, really hope that the um, the organisers do the same just ongoing always because it just it made the world a difference um, so that is that is my hope if any of the organisers are listening uh, it made such a difference and it was really nice and um, yeah oh gosh lots of comments already good morning everybody where are we let's have a look and then uh, let's see who we've got with us this morning we've got Jackie we've got Jacqueline we've got Julia good morning good morning good morning good morning Michelle Michelle had a great time on Saturday absolutely John said had I known uh, you were there Saturday um, you could have come um, to do yoga with us <laughs> oh John me and yoga you know my yoga story right don't you spent um, a year getting trained as a yoga instructor got pregnant with Emily towards the last three months and then um, yeah Emily managed to rip my stomach muscles to the extent that I can no longer do any yoga. So I've either got to get them stitched back together or find a way to heal it, which is why I look permanently pregnant, uh, which is fabulous. Um, so yeah, so yeah, it, the irony of becoming a yoga instructor and then not being able to do it myself is not lost. Morning, John. Uh, I've said that. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning, Nicola. I didn't go to festival, but I have enjoyed watching as much as I can about it. So Nicola, here's the thing. We were filming with Cave on the Friday, which will go out on bank holiday. Well, because we're August now, right? The last bank holiday of the month. There is only one bank holiday. Bank holiday Monday in August will be when hours have got will go out. Because lots of people are putting up stuff now. We're editing it and getting it um, super, super smart uh, because we like to do something a little bit um, different for our bank holiday Mondays. But a lot of you took advantage of the um, the double K book deal that we had on the website. Um, do take a look at that. Morning, Linda. Received my K book on Saturday morning. What a beautiful book. Yeah. Do you know what? For those of you that do have the book, we've put some fabric bundles together for you. 
Um, there are a few little changes in fabric because we didn't necessarily have all for each of the kits to the extent that actually the, um, it's not very much glass, is it? What else is it called? There's one that was made entirely, maybe it was Roman glass, but we changed it all for tiddlywinks. And I, I spoke to Kate and Brandon about it, they were absolutely fine. They're like, yeah, that's what we should do. Morning, Lo, I've got my bracelet on. Now, no, 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 here's the thing. Lo, um, everybody knows, Lo is amazing. And um, she sent me the most incredible message last week. And she has said that for um, for the advent calendars that we're doing this Christmas, she would like to offer a golden ticket and it will go randomly into one of them and then we'll mix them all up and send them all out. So when we send, because the advent calendars will be sent out in November so that you can't go peeking and opening it in advance, right? So they will be sent out in November. So thank you for everyone that's purchased one of our advent calendars. They surpass everything this year. They're pretty special. Um, <laughs> and there's a £40 saving on them. Like I say, our advent calendars are not about making money for us. They're about thanking you and bringing you gifts that you can use throughout the year. Um, and Lo has very, very kindly said that she will put in one of them um, um, a, a golden ticket for her to make for you um, a made to measure. You know her needle rings that she does, her beautiful silver needle rings? She is going to put a golden ticket in for you to have a made to measure um, silver needle ring. I was absolutely blown away. She's just the biggest, kindest, hardest woman I know. So thank you, Lo. And I'm sure that everybody else who's bought one will also be like, ah, uh, yes, thank you very much. And if you haven't seen her page, look on Facebook at OMP Silver. If it comes up with some place in Birmingham, it's the wrong place. Um, but you should be able to see things like, have you seen my bracelet? It was meant to be for my birthday, but it sort of got a bit purloined. No, 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 this is the sort of thing. Look at it, isn't it gorgeous? It's tape measure, but all of these are precision, precision, so that's actually in tube. I love it. Look, 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 look. Yay! Uh, so that's the sort of thing that Lo does. So have a little look, because she's a bit of a clever lady. Morning, Karen! Now, here's <laughs> another clever lady. Karen has matched her nails um, completely with her camper van. Loving that. Um, love this gorgeous fabric, but I'm going to be good today, honest. Karen, that's only because you got your order in over the weekend. Don't pretend and sit there polishing your halo. I've seen. <laughs> morning, Heather. Good morning, Steph. Um, John, I did, however, forget to get my cave book. You got any left in stock? I've got signed ones in stock, John. Of course I do. Do. of course I do um, and um, yeah there's a deal if you're I think you've got the studio one though haven't you there was a deal if you bought two I think you've got some money off um, morning Jay morning Elizabeth I saw a photo of you and Cave doing an interview it looked like Quilter's World like BBC Gardener's World <laughs> that's a thought oh, yes we should bring back his um, his glorious glorious knits or something but with quilting for the BBC that's what we should do absolutely um, we had such a laugh but unfortunately you don't actually see that from the photos we look deadly serious I think we were talking about um, the the rights of uh, we, oh yeah we, <laughs> we had some photos taken in front of um, Chris English's if you follow him on Instagram he's um, at a full English uh, we were stood in front of his quilt which had been made from like recycled bits of fabric and, and all sorts. It was really fascinating. And uh, we got photos mid conversation and we looked so serious. It wasn't like that at all. Um, you didn't see my yoga then. <laughs> no, John, I did not see your yoga. Um, I can't believe it's much worse than mine. One down face dog and that's it. I can't walk for a week. Um, <laughs> Fiona went to festival course yesterday, Sunday, and it was fabulous, thoroughly enjoyed it. Good, 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 good. Um, <laughs> ouch hugs Emily was worth it yes I tell myself that I tell myself that as my back goes every now and then uh, morning Susan she says morning Natasha ready and waiting for your fabulous show well, thank you very much I uh, just left my Frenchie Mabel at the vets undergoing an op this morning oh no there's nothing worse is there than when our fur babies are, are, are under the knife oh that reminds me I've got to um I've got to book the boys in for their for their operation I think they are at that age as they, you know, around the place. I'm like, no, boys. No, no, no. Morning, Naomi. Uh, morning, everyone. Loved your pictures of Brandon playing with the children. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm trying so hard. I'm trying to have a grown-up picture the scene. I'm trying to have a grown-up conversation with Kaif, with um, 
one of the ladies who does his quilts in this country, who makes up his quilts from in this country. She's an, an amazing lady. She was so interesting. And Brandon's got my kids running wild. I mean, they are running wild around their stand, followed by Brandon. And uh, and I just turn around and he's pulling faces at them. And then he's got them on the floor and he's got his foot on top of them. <laughs> I stand no chance, do I? Absolutely none. So uh, we just carried on our conversation regardless. <laughs> Brandon and the kids. It's just going round and round in circles. I, he loves kids. Anyone that knows Brandon, I, he just adores children. Children and dogs. He's just like, this is heaven. Um, and they adore him. Morning, Colette. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Morning, Dolly. Um, <laughs> yeah, Fiona, my sentiments exactly. Um, right, 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 right. Oh, low your speech says you have to support lovely people with lovely businesses. Well, right back at you. Um, Margaret Stone says, morning, Natasha, loving the fabric as you should. Morning, Donna. Um, have all the advent calendars gone? So, low, we haven't sent out any of them yet. There are still some left to be purchased. Um, yeah, Ali says, I can concur with you, Tash, about Lowe's generosity. Um, my... Uh, Gorgeous dog advent calendars arrived with us on Saturday with Lowe's generous contribution included. Ah, oh, to be made up for my local dog rescue. Yeah, she's an amazing woman. Um, morning, everyone. It's a local holiday here today. Paisley Fair. So I can watch today without working. What's a Paisley Fair? It sounds great. It does mean, though, that I don't get the holiday at the end of the month. Oh, well, you'll just have to watch that one on catch up. You'll be, you'll be all right. Um, you didn't half look proper with your own film crew. Well impressive. Ah, that was Jesse from uh, Lovely Jesse. So, yeah, Bex used to do our filming. Um, and um, <laughs> Jesse came with us. He's, he's just huge. He's just, this, <laughs> even Kaif sort of went, how tall are you? <laughs> uh, which for, you know, Kaif's, what, 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, so uh, it's, for him to have to look up was quite amazing. Um, I could wear heels when I went out for dinner with Kaif. I always love that. I can, um, I can wear heels. Rebecca, you are quite right. Um, so I would like to say a massive thank you to Gemma and to Rachel and to everybody that held the fort on Friday so that I could go off gallivanting. Um, I think they did an amazing job. <laughs> yes, a lot of you are quite right. Gemma is basically, um, we're each other's doppelganger. Isn't that right, Gem? She's not heard. Oh, you're on a delay. We're <laughs> 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 no, I just heard. Oh, she, oh, I forget she's on a delay, a nine second delay. Um, yeah, well, I was basically saying that we are, in fact, just each other's doppelganger. Apart from the foot difference in height <laughs> and the fact that, you know, you're very dark and I'm very fair. Apart from that, a spitting image. You'd yeah, barely know. Obviously. Interchangeable. That's <laughs> us. <front>. Interchangeable. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think it was Jan Hill went, she's got mannerisms and says the same sort of things as you. And I'm like, yeah, but we've known each other since we were 17. <laughs> or in Gemma's case, 16, if she likes to remind me. Um, you know, so that's not really surprising. <laughs> I don't think. Um, so yeah, a massive thank you for them. Uh, yeah, and you're right. It does mean that I might be able to actually have a holiday at some point, which would be amazing. Uh, Claire says, morning, Tasha. I only know what day it is, thanks to you. Well, I'm glad you do. I don't have a clue. I just get wheeled in front of a camera and told to uh, to get on with it. Uh, <laughs> I can tell you what, last week I had no clue at all. Absolutely none. Um, alrighty, so do you want to see what we've got for you today? Do you, do you, do Oh, and um, hello to everyone that I saw at Festival of Quilts. Um, and because uh, lots of you are like, I watch on YouTube. So I, you don't see my name on there, but I do watch. <coughs> so thank you. Um, and apologies if our <laughs> we were at this blo beautiful block printing stand. Um, and uh, I, I, I sort of looked at, I was looking at it all because they do it for fabric as well. And uh, there were a couple of lovely ladies chatting to me. I mean, Emily's buggies in the way and the, you know, the kids are, to trying to pick every every block print known to man and um because it was all so tempting i mean i was with them <laughs> and uh <laughs> and they were saying oh we should get this on the show i was like do you think yeah so i'm gonna have a little chat with them see what we can do um but today you have been eagerly awaiting um this beautiful fabric so here's the thing odile um 
by Earl. See, I can say it without a prompt, without a prompt. Odile by Earl uh, is the incredible designer that we're looking at today. She's a um, French lady, very eccentric. She loves her reds and her oranges and her warm tones. And when you see her dress, she's sort of all in reds and oranges and whatnot. Great, because I, I can't wear them very much. But we got um, a little while ago, I've still got to bind this. Uh, we got the fabrics that meant that you could make the likes of this. Hurrah! And you did. And we sold out, um, I think, before the end of the day. So uh, there was a plea. Could we please get some more back? Um, and I was like, yes, absolutely. But, 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 um, I want, she needed to get more printed. It's been printed and, um, and it's back, which is fabulous. Not quite in the same configuration. I will say slightly different configuration this time. It's all good. Uh, but what I've done for you is I've managed to get this colorway in the panel, which we didn't have before. We only had the yellow and the teal. Now we've got the red as well. And also I, w I went back and I had a look because when we originally brought the quilts for you, um, Odile had done sort of a couple of mock-up quilts. Now I, didn't write up the pattern at the time because I hadn't asked if she had a pattern and when I spoke to Odile about it she's like I, I'm not a quilter these are just ideas so I said do you mind if I write up a pattern then and she's like no 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 that's fine so I have written up the pattern for you and the pattern that I've written up is this one I went back through and had a look at your comments to see which of the designs you seem to to because there were two which of the designs you seem to favor and it seemed to be that this was the more popular design so this is the one and it's super easy it's just half square triangles and squares that's all it is um, all it is the hardest thing about it is choosing the fabrics now I've done this this was the bit that actually was the tough bit for me when writing the pattern was um, to second guess what fabrics you would want to use so here's what I have done the pattern calls for either four or eight fat quarters. If you want to use eight fat quarters, then there are no fabric repeats. Um, so you can see like here, that would be a different fabric and that would be a different, those two would be a different fabric because it's there. Um, and so there are just, you know, there would be different fabrics. And here I've used the off cuts of the panel whereas actually that would be a different fabric in there so what i've done is when i've written it up i've written it up so you can either use four fat quarters or eight it's entirely up to you and then the fat quarters that we've got for you bundled are either well they're in packs of four so you can buy one and do it um, or two and do it and have loads of fabric left over so that's that's the idea I mean, if you do two and you buy the panel, two panels, then you've got two, two of those quilts and you could make it even bigger, should you wish. Um, so that's the idea behind it. Do you want to see the bundles that we have got for you today? So I'm just going to switch to here and just show you because this, we've called this yellow just because there's sort of yellow around there. But you've got your little swinging men in there. That is your yellow bundle. I called this the red bundle. This is the one that I've used. You've got the tigers in there again. Again, you've got this beautiful fabric with the little swinging men in. Um, and this is the one that we have called the red bundle. Now that's the one that I've made my sample out of. And then this is the teal bundle here. So all of them have got um, one of these in, in a, in a different colorway. This is your sort of pinky, pinky yellowy one, red or teal. Um, we've got that and that, and that and that. These ones are pretty, very similar. It's just, you've got a different scale of that print. But in this one, you've just got different colorways in those and different scales of those, which are just beautiful. So whichever way round you go, they all work. They all really, really work. We've also got some more of her ribbons in, which I'll show you in a moment. <coughs> so uh, let's have a little looksy, looksy, looksy at these. Now, these are 
These are all organic cottons, by the way. They are, they feel absolutely incredible. And the other thing to point out to you with these is that they are wide. As you can see, rather than 44 inches, they're 56 inches, I believe. Um, so if you are going for the panel, this is the teal panel and you can just see there's your horses there. And if I swing that around, there's your sea lions in there. And again, these are cut to order. So they're cut at 55 centimetres. You can see this mark on the bolt here. That's your 55 centimetres. So it takes it straight through this little um, snake lady here. So if you order two, then we'll cut it in a continuous length for you. Now, here's the thing. You can go all out teal. But what I sort of imagined was actually picking out a different colourway, which would then pull this out so for me I used I used the red panel but used the teal colorway yeah it was the teal that I used so you can just see if I place that there yes this is all teal but with the reds it just does something here same with the yellows it pulls out suddenly all of this comes to life so what I would really recommend um, is you can tell I've been around cave can't you you can see how that mm, it, it looks okay but honestly um, I would go for a contrasting color bundle just to make it all look phenomenal okay so that is your teal and this is, I mean, these are the fabrics that I did the lampshades in for Emily's bedroom. Um, they're just, just beautiful. And look, with my leftover from two five-inch squares, look, a little coin purse. We're going to be loading these patterns later, but they are, they can be made. I've got all different colours. Look, I've just started doing another one with a little red bubbly top. Um, but they just work. I've had these for ages and wanted the right project for them. And this fabric was it because I've got yellow tops, which are going to look amazing with these. I've got greens. I've got all sorts um, for you to play with and templates and what not. So let's have a very quick look here. So with the yellows, that is what we call the yellow bundle. And you can see, actually, that works beautifully with it. This is your red bundle. That looks rather gorgeous too, doesn't it? So um, I think, actually, this is the one that you would work best with any of them. But look at that. As soon as you bring in that teal, all of this starts to come into play. And that's the beauty of having... Um, a whole design set is that everything everything works with it and honestly there is no other fabric like it on the market that I have seen there just isn't she um, took Odile she she's the cat's mother Odile took the step to um, to go it alone with these fabrics she does one collection for free spirit a year which is kind of gorgeous too and I've got that here I'll show you that in a minute um, as well but this is this is the stuff she does off her own back now you see this is the one that I used in my quilt there and um, and so yeah I did I went with I went with the teal teal combination because it picked out uh, there you see lions there obviously on the other side you've got your elephants um, I was tempted to go with the yellow and if I was going to do the eight fat quarters with it I would probably go those two because your reds well I mean they all look great don't they you know by the time that they're all together it's all just going to be absolutely beautiful but there we go they, they are your options today I wanted to make it a little bit more affordable obviously if you buy multiples of the fat quarters they will be cut in a continuous length so if you bought two bundles you'd get a half meter of each um, and that's because we cut to order here that's what we do it might mean that it takes an extra day or so for you to get your order but if it means that you don't you know we don't just assume 
how you want your fabric. So that's that's the thing. So always, you know, thank you for bearing with us, but we do cut a lot of fabric to order for you because it's it's the best way, isn't it, really? Um, I'm still in love with the octopus from last week, by the way. Uh, right, so also on the website, you will have seen um, a couple of things. Now, <laughs> lots of you have been asking for this. <sighs> it takes about 20 minutes to make. And it is the iPad holder. Now, you've got a little button and elastic holder there. But if I just show you inside, look, you have got beautiful velvet on the inside and the outside. So when you actually put your tablet inside, it kind of cleans the screen <laughs> as well, which is awesome. Um, but I mean, Odile gives you instructions as to, um, you know, if you want to make it into a clutch bag or um, anything else, if you want to customize it and make it so that it absolutely fits your tablet, um, then do. I'm limited on these. I, we've saved them to go live for today because I know there's going to be a rush on there. Honestly, I, I just... I just don't know of anybody that makes velvet like this. It's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. I, I've been blown away by it. Absolutely blown away by it. And it's beautiful and it's a, such a privilege to be able to stock it. So they are the tablet um, cases. And then the other thing was the click clack bag. So here it is. Isn't it beautiful? Do you want to see the detail on these, by the way? Because... That is velvet. Kaif and I were discussing this um, the other day, and uh, because some of his ribbons, um, so well, she's Odile has had some of his designs that she's made into her ribbons, and they're just beautiful. And he's like, yeah, he said, I just don't know how she manages to keep the detail with velvet, but you see, with this one, it opens up. And that, that is your click. You get the lining, you get the interfacing, you get everything um, in there. It's all, it's all in the kit for you. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just stunning? Now, in her instructions, she does say to, um, to use a jeans needle because at one point you do go through quite a lot of layers i'm going to tell you completely honestly i put a finer needle in because it just went through more um, more easily if you've got the packs of um of our hundred needles machine needles then i went with the with the finer ones and that and it, it just went through i think you make the choice you either go for a sturdier needle like a denim or you go for finer to get through those layers. I went finer because it was what I happened to have in anyway and it worked a treat. The other thing that I want to say for anybody that is making this one is whoop, my top tip with this one when you adhere the H640 to the lining be aware that it is velvet and you will damage it if you if you press. So what I would recommend is Getting that steam on your iron, putting your H640 onto the back of your velvet lining and just hovering your iron with the steam on just above the H640. Okay, so just above it and apply. Come on, Mr. Iron, heat up. Yeah, and just keep applying your... John gave us a great tip with this the other day. Like before you start with your steam just give it a little blowout just in case there's anything any dirty marks in there or anything there you go give it a little shush out but yeah so what i would really say to you is hover it above your velvet above your your interfacing and just keep applying the steam and it will it will adhere but don't press directly onto your velvet and it's just it's just not something that was detailed in the instructions and I thought I'd, I'd better just mention it well at least it might be in French but it wasn't in the English translation so that's my only top tip for you with this and I really do rather love it do you want another close-up of it Ooh. in velvet 
fit. Just beautiful. I am absolutely loving it. Um, 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 there we go. Right, let's pop that up there. And, you know, this fabric from Odile is so versatile. We've made, of course, bags. This is the bag that we're going to make today. I love this one very much. It's got the leopard on it. And I've got this in three different colorways. This one is really rather glor glorious. Glorious, glorious, if I can remember how to actually make it. Do you want to see again? Do you want to see these patterns? I've got this in three different patterns. Let me just look at that. And they are a good size. They're a really good size. They just fit really, really nicely. Um, so, nice top, hey? <laughs> Spin that around there. Um, so, yeah, these are your options. Now, the pink click clack has sold out. If you would like the pink click clack, can you message us? Because we might be able to get more. Um, but otherwise, this is your other click clack bag option. Okay, so there it is made up. That's what it's going to look like made up and we've got a handful of those left like I say the pink sold out obviously because you saw it made but this is the blue option here and it really is rather stunning I was gonna demo that today and Gemma's like we don't have enough for you to demo with so I will demo with something we have more stock of um, so these are our other options so this is the kit for the trapeze bag that we've just seen let me show you this rather lovely do you not think but these are the other colour options. Ge this is Gemma's favourite in the Kingfisher. And the fish. How stunning is that? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? And I'm going to demo it in. Look at these little guys. Look at these. So we're going to go for it in the black today. Okay, that's going to be the one that we demo today. <coughs> And then I told you that we've got Odile's new fabric in, so let me show you that as well. Gosh, it's quite a jam-packed show, isn't it, already? And then, as if, oh, look, there you go. That's how the tablet comes. There you go, like that. Um, and then, and then, and then, as if that wasn't enough, we've got the new Snow Leopard from Philip Jacobs Prints as well, which is really rather glorious. Now, these are... Um, Odile's fabrics through free spirit. So these are normal cotton. They're not the organic um, like you've had before. These are normal cotton. Like if you buy K, if it's the same quality cotton because it's coming from the same mill. Um, and this is Odile's own collection with free spirit. But how beautiful is this? You've got little lizards going through there um, and these beautiful, beautiful florals. You can really see it's, it's Odile's colorways um, through and through. Now these are cut to order these are up by the half meter i can't remember if jem did them as a bundle if you wanted them she'll she'll shout me and let me know in a second um i'm sure it's one of those conversations that she told me what she was going to do and i went oh yes that's a good idea um and then should have listened a bit harder sorry jem sorry jem i hang for you everywhere jem i promise 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 um they just went up by the half meter there we go Oh, they're just beautiful but as a collection I'm just looking at them Gem thinking we should have done a collection of all four because they're a bit bit blinking gorgeous look at this you'll have found them anyway I know you will have done so this is your 44 inches wide normal width wide fabric but how look you've got you oh, just beautiful so of course if you wanted to um, switch up the panels and have that as one of your uh, your 12 and a half inch squares then you absolutely could for that quilt there we are so I mean just how beautiful do they look as a collection there and you can just see that these fabrics are pulling out the blues oh, just gorgeous so yeah so these are um odile through free spirit um they're the same people that bring us uh cave and tula pink and so you know 
the sort of fabric that you are in for there. Now, are you ready, talking of things that you are in for? You're going to do your big reveal. Da, 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 da. Snow Leopard Fabrics. Yes, 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 yes. If you love, 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 love um, Philip Jacobs Fabrics. So Philip Jacob is one of the K Facet Collective, for those of you that don't know. Do have a look on our video section under the interviews because we've got a um, couple of hours that I spent with Philip. He doesn't often give interviews, but he does make the exception for us. Uh, we're very, very lucky. And this is his very own one. Um, oh, we... <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a message from Odile. Uh, well, Julia at uh, Odile's because Odile doesn't speak English. So uh, Julia has to... <laughs> I was going to ring you before the show, Julia, but again, I got myself in knots going. If I say, Ue, Julia, s'il vous plaît, would, um, would that be rude? Would you, <laughs> would you understand? But she's just messaged me to say that she does have some more click-clack bags, should we need. Um, so yeah, just... Just send it, pop a little message. Gemma's looking at this. If you would like a pink click clack bag, it would take a week or so to get here. Um, <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Whilst you just have a quick look at that, I have to say, I've just been reminded because Naomi's here. She's morning, late but here, rare morning off work and watching live instead of catching up. Naomi, I have to tell you, and I completely forgot, that, 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 SJ gave me the winners for the Liberty competition. Um, so last month we ran a Liberty competition for you to win a Fat Quarter collection of the latest Liberty um, Carnaby Street collection. And I've got three winners for you. Clara Siswick, congratulations. SJ did all the randomizer, doodle 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 jobby thing this morning. Susan Bishop, congratulations to you. And Naomi Helks, you are one of our winners as well. So congratulations. There we go. Good job you reminded me. If your name hadn't come up, I'd have completely forgotten to tell everyone that. Um, so, 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 as we were, as we were. Um, Gem, if we need any more click clack bags. Oh, yeah, she was a Julia for a deal. Um, then we can. <laughs> I'll just tell you how many. There we go. The joys of um, technology, right? Here we are, right. So, uh, as we were, this is Philip Jacobs' own collection uh, for his Snow Leopard label. And you've got these beautiful, beautiful fl um, flowers, otherwise known as butterflies. We will get on to actually making something in a minute. <coughs> and you know what he's like for his florals. Here we go, you've got your beautiful bluebells. And then, ah. Oh, <laughs> is it wrong that I want to make a pair of shorts out of these? <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Aren't these fab? You recognise his swirls behind there. I always, I always wanted um, a tortoise or a turtle or even a terrapin. But I remember as a kid, when I was 11, we went, uh, it was my first time abroad and we went to France um, to my dad's old pen pal, uh, this chap called Jeannie, who um, had actually become mayor of his town. I didn't realise at that point that, you know, if you're French and you're a mayor, that's quite a big thing. So we stayed at Jeannie's super, super duper house. And I mean, he's, it was him and his mum, his family were away. But um, so... Um, <laughs> I slept in his daughter's amazing sunken bed in her bedroom. I mean, it was just phenomenal. As like a little kid, it was just, oh, just remember it. Um, <laughs> and we were having lunch. And Jani's mum always made the most incredible salads. And um, <laughs> what they hadn't realised is that she was meant to be looking after the terrapin and the terrapin had got out. They had a tank with the terrapin in the kitchen and the terrapin had got out <laughs> was in the salad. Um, and uh, I, yeah, I always wanted a terrapin after that. We met, we didn't eat him, by the way, we didn't eat him. But uh, yeah, that uh, that is my first encounter with a terrapin. Look at this. Oh, do you know what? This really reminded me, Claire, of your dress, um, your beautiful dress. But... These are, uh, like I say, these are Philip Jacobs. They are bright and bold and beautiful. And look at those two together. 
way. There we go. Uh, and then the fox gloves. I think you're going to love the fox gloves. How beautiful are those? Well, it helps if I put them up the right way. So we've got some rather beautiful floral offerings from Philip Jacobs. Um, and then, you know, a terrapin, which, I mean, look at the greens. Aren't they gorgeous? And some butterflies and lots of beautiful things to mix through. So the background blue of this is the same background blue of that. So it's all going to tie in if you want to have your butterflies wandering through. And then more florals. This is the last one that we've got. I think we've got some more on its way on order, but it hasn't arrived yet. But I didn't want to hang on and, and not let you have them. I mean, how pretty are those? Just beautiful. So there we go. What a lot to show you this morning. I'm going to take them off one by one. Hey, Opinga, good morning. <laughs> that, that's as northern as I can manage. She just laughs at me. Gemma's family are are northern so she does a far better northern accent uh, than i do i just sound like i'm taking the piss and, uh, and i really don't mean to oh yes oh click clack bag on delayed dispatch yeah. fabulous yeah. thank you very much a new velvet border, just oh and a new oh we had it in the narrow border didn't we yeah. but we've got this in the wide border if you have not played with these borders then you will not have made such exciting things and the pattern is on odile's um facebook page by the way for these and we have demoed them i love these i've got a couple of these now that we made we did demo this on the show so it is on one of the shows but that's just made out of half a meter of one of those just and this is by the meter that you can get it oh, isn't it beautiful so this is the velvet border shall i show you the other ones let me move these out of the way also the tablet case is gone it wasn't going to stay around was it um um julia if you're watching if you've got any more tablet <laughs> cases please uh, oh i love this online shopping i mean it doesn't get much whilst yeah <laughs> So with our suppliers, not just for you guys, I'll just, you know, get involved and, uh, and, and do a bit. It's all good. So we did stock up on um, all of these ribbons that had sold out. I, I adore this. So these are the velvet border fabrics. And I apologize every time I write border, uh, my autocorrect changes it and spells it the wrong sort of border, which I always get told off for by multiple people. But... Oh, I, I, I can't tell you how soft this is. I don't know how they do it. This is um, Gwenel Tro, uh, Troles. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I've just hashed that name, haven't I, completely. And these are these are her rooms. So um, Odeon started working with a few designers, Kafe and um, obviously Philip Jacobs as the Kafe Asset Collective and Brandon um, obviously is one of them. And, and this is it, but uh, and this um, Grinnell is another lady that she's working with. This one is one of Odile's. This is Jules Blue. This is the one that I did my. I just. I've still. Hang on. I did a show where I was like, this is how you can play with them. And in my bathroom, it's back up in my bathroom, um, I just got um, a coffee jar and just put it around a coffee jar stuffed it full of um, bath salts and then stuck all my um, all of my makeup brushes in it and it's just it's just beautiful just beautiful and uh, and this as well absolutely glorious but again you can just use them as borders what else have I got over here oh yeah we glittered one up didn't we the other day one of the final ones put some <laughs> this is just your um, this was just your red tape and if you'd got any of the, uh, blah, 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 what are they called? Um, what are they called? Lampshades, and you'll have extra. But you could also use your quilter's tape and just put some glitter on it. That's an old baked bean tin. So, you know, we like to special these things up a bit. What else have we got? What else, what else, what else have we got back in stock for you? Because uh, these are all sold out. Here we go. Oh, I love this one with the butterflies. And I have to say, to be able to make... Uh, yeah, this is these are my pencil cases. I just use these all the time. To be able to make these 
out of a half meter of the oh there we go this is that's the exact same fabric so you see that's that made into something really useful um and this is this is your jewels in black this sold out this was one of the first to sell out when we got these in but just how stunning are they have you used them yet i don't know um if they're going to reprint any of these when they're gone they are gone Look, there's your jewels in pink so you've got your pink blue and black colorway they just are exquisite um, if you want to see, here we go, let me just show you some of the detail up close here. In velvet. In velvet. And then let me show you this one in velvet. Hey, Beth. Uh, then look. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Fred, you've seen these velvet borders, haven't you? You've seen these, haven't you? Yeah. Where's where? School holidays. Say hello to everyone. Hello. That camera there. Oh, hello. <laughs> grandma hello. might be watching. Do you want to say hello to grandma? Yes. That camera. Oh, hello, grandma. Look, what, look at look, 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 look at the camera. Hello. There you go, there you go, there you go. Um, what are you meant to be doing, Freddie? Uh, I don't know. You don't, I don't know. Can we have a big boy voice, please? Um. I know you are seven. I don't know. You don't know. Would you like to go and find out then? Because I'm pretty sure you are not meant to be in here on my show. Bye! <laughs> go on it. Oh, no. Hello. Cap come on then, Captain Small. You come and say hello as well. <laughs> there we go. Right. Excuse us. That, that, that camera there. Hello, Grandma. Hello, Grandma. There, oh, and the cat as well. <laughs> it's all going on. Um, Emily, do you want that hairband in? Hello, Grandma. <sighs> Hello, Grandma. <laughs> no, keep your skirt. Oh, for goodness sakes. Skirt there. There we go. Off you go. That way. Like Scram. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> au revoir. Au revoir. Yeah, au revoir. Uh, sorry about that, everyone. It's like when you, uh, when you go to your, your kids' recitals and stuff and they're not meant to wave and say hello, are they? <laughs> but I know that my mum my mum watches a bit. She doesn't always watch all the way through. I <laughs> will put it in as, a, as an enticement for her to watch a little bit more. They were just passing. <laughs> just passing through. Um, they're, with, <laughs> they're with our lovely friend Sophie today, who I used to babysit when Sophie was Emily's age. So it all goes, <laughs> it all goes around in circles, doesn't it? Right, shall we make something? Let's have a look at this, shall we? Do, 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 do. So this is how your kit will come. I don't know if Odile has messaged to see. Uh, uh, no, not many tablet cases in stock. I can get more, but it will be a month. Guys, do you, that's the message. Do you want any more of the tablet cases? And if so, let us know. Um, and yeah, basically we can pre-order them, but they will be made for us. So if you definitely want one, let me know and we will have some made up. Um, oh, oh, <laughs> you've got to see this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. That's my lining fabric. Before I start anything else, this is my lining fabric in the same um, weight. So with this organic cotton, this um, it, it feels almost like a, like a cotton lawn, actually, the organic stuff. It's really, really beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at that. These are my handles. Oh, they're a bit special, aren't they? Look at that. H640. And then in the velvet. Oh, look, what an absolute treat. And you know what? Keep all of these little bits as well. Off the, um, I have to tell you, I fussy cut off the tablet case um a couple of little elephants which you know just happen to be mooching around and i will applique them onto something but they're velvet 
So they feel amazing. So next time there's like a hole in G Emily's jeans or something, I'll applique that onto it. Um, this is a bit special, isn't it? Oh, look at the swallows. So my mum and her best friend, my god mum Pat, they always have a competition every year to see who sees the first swallows. And yeah, we always have them nesting in our stables. So we've always been incredibly lucky. So we're going to cut out this, this and this. So this is going to be a demo from scratch, everybody. From scratch. <laughs> if I can find the instructions. Where are my instructions? Oh, here they are. Thank goodness for that. Uh, let's get that iron on. Come on, iron. You can start to do your thing. I, you know I got the one that shuts down, don't you? If, um, if you know, I mess around too much. So, 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 here we go. This is your tutorial and you've got it in French and English. So step by step it's in French, but when you turn it over, you've got corresponding steps here. Okay, so. Let's start a cutting. And I am very aware that it is important to do demos step by step and all the way through as well. So if you will bear with me this morning, we will get there. I know I've been chatting a bit, um, but you know, that's also part of the fun, right? Okay. Now you'll notice I'm not cutting every bit. I'm just doing the fussier bits. The rest I will cut with my um, rotary cutter. That's the word. It's not a hard word, but apparently it appears to uh, to want to ev evade, if escape me. It escapes me. Um, I'm going to move all of this out of the way. <coughs> Do, 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 do. Right. And then we can get a cutting. And um, here we go. I, I just honestly cannot tell you how beautiful <laughs> this fabric feels to work with. It is incredibly special. So this is the first thing that you'll do. If you are feeling, um, you know, really inspired, then you can pin your backing fabric onto this because you will use this as a template for your backing fabric as well. Okay. But if not, don't worry. Do not worry. Here we are. There we go. I don't, it's only been recently that I've sort of realised that as long as you're lining, you can, you, you know, use your outer pieces as your template for your lining. I don't know why it never really occurred to me before. And if you're worried about it being a little bit baggy, then just take half an inch off the, off the length of it so that it sits really neatly inside. Um, that's my mum messaging. She's like, I waved back to Freddie and Emily and Morty. What a treat. <laughs> I will let them know, mum. They have been, uh, they have been ushered away by a, a slightly harassed looking Sophie. <laughs> Bless her. Uh, here we go. Right. It's been a little while since I made my bag, so I might have to refer to the instructions uh, because I wanted to give you the full out of bag experience. Again, if you've got your long quilters, rulers, and by the way, lots of you making good use of, um, of our offer that we had 
on our creative grids. So well done to you getting um, on the stripology rulers, getting some money off those. Just so that you know, the 12 by 12 inch, if you're making the quilt that we've got behind us, this is what I use to fussy cut out my blocks out of the out of the gorgeous panel. It's per is absolutely perfect because you can line up exactly that center point there. So that's just the perfect size. Okay, okay, okay. Where are we at here? So, and again, this is all velvet as well. All velvet. How incredibly beautiful. Do 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 do. And I'm just using on my ruler these lines here to just even everything up as I'm cutting them out. All right. And because it's creative grids and they're, you know, super duper, they, you've got them in black and in white. So there's always going to be a colour that's going to show up um, really beautifully for you as well. So we've got those. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is take my lining fabric um, and I'm going to move all of that out of the way just for a second and bring. Oh, now lots of you as well getting involved with the deal that we had on. If you don't subscribe to our Friday, to our... Um, Oh, that's what I want, to our newsletter, then you're missing all the deals that we sent out on Friday. We've got um, some of that gorgeous, gorgeous, um, hang on, Gemma's saying something, don't know if it's at me, um, flatter spray on an offer with our pressing mats. There's <laughs> a big, big, big discount on there. Now, if I'm clever about this, there we go. Now, newsletter. newsletter. What did I call it? Oh, she's just giving me words. But I don't. I don't have words today. <laughs> so I, <laughs> when I adhere H six forty, I think you you meant to use like a damp pressing cloth, but I like to kill two birds with one stone, and uh, and I go straight in. Uh, because you're meant to use a damp pressing cloth because the steam that is created from the damp cloth um, increases the temperature that goes down to the glue so that the glue flows better. I can't believe I geekily know that. <laughs> so um, in my head, if you, I'm going to want on there, a, you know, stabilizer anyway. So in my head, I just, I put my flatter on because A, it smells amazing. I've got the pineapple one today. Oh, it's gorgeous. If you haven't used it yet, get it. Because it's it's beautiful. It lasts a very long time. Unless you mean because you spray it on everything. You can spray it on your laundry actually as well. It's all naturally de derived. For those of you that struggle with other starch sprays, this isn't a starch spray, but it does the same job as a starch spray would. I wish I knew why this beeped at me. Um, and um, what it does, yeah, it does the same job as a starch spray, but without actually having starch in. So if you are someone where starch sprays catch at the back of your throat, this one just doesn't seem to do that. And, it, and I, was only I only became aware of that from um, some friends who are asthmatic. So yeah, John Cole Morgan, he's asthmatic, he uses it. Sasha uses it. Sasha Fancy, lovely Sasha Fancy. And um, what a great name. She's getting married soon, and I really hope she doesn't change her name. <laughs> you can't change a name when you have such a great name. <laughs> like, just no. Just no. Here we are. There we go. I 
can't believe how beautiful this lining fabric is. I'm like, I'm gonna have little scraps left over. Yay! Um, so there we go. That is that, and that is that. Oh, there's a spare pin there. Let's get that out of the way and get my cutting mat back in action. Dun, 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 dun. Whee! Here we go. So now, if you wish, oh, there's a little bit there that I should have possibly done a bit better. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Right, so, look at that. That's going to fit on there perfectly. So you've got just the right amount in your kit. Oh, yes, you have. Okay. So I'm going to centre that there. And I am going to go in. Well, this is black, so it really doesn't matter. And also within the seam allowance as well. I will mark off that curve. Mark off that curve. Now, you might be wondering why I'm doing it from this side. Simply that, for me, this is going to stick a little bit onto there. So it just stays a bit more where I want it to, just for now. But obviously, whatever marking tool you go in with, just be careful. This, this is a black pen onto black fabric, so, you know, I'm not too bothered about that. But if you, if you, you know, otherwise just... Um, spinning it round, spinning around. And this is the bit that takes time. Actually making the thing really doesn't take very long at all. It's always just that cutting out. And I'm sure that there is a way to cut this out more frugally so that you can save every scrap and bit. Um, but... I do want to just give you a, this is how long it takes from start to finish scenario with a bit of chat in between. Yay. Isn't that so lovely that Julia's even watching? You know, you don't get that from big suppliers, do you? And this is what I love. So... I was thinking about this and I just, what has given me immense pleasure has been the ability to bring you the likes of Odile and Lisa Chandler and the names that aren't very well represented in this country. And I've absolutely loved it. And your response to it as well has been phenomenal. So thank you because you are supporting you know, these smaller designers who've been brave enough to go it alone. And that is not a small thing, let me tell you. Not a small thing. Um, it, it is quite eye-watering when you look at the, you know, what they have to go through, the fabric agents and stuff that they have to find. It's, yeah, like I say, it is no small thing at all. So that's your lining and your outer for one. Put that to one side. And then just this one to finish off cutting out and we'll be good to go. But as you're doing this, you're gonna keep stopping anyway because you're gonna wanna keep stroking the beautiful velvet fabrics. Beautiful velvet fabrics. Hey, do you know what I love about Festival of Quotes and that's the number of bags and outfits and all that kind of stuff that you just get to see 
that people have obviously spent so much time and effort on. It's really lovely to see all sorts of creations. And I did have a few of you come up and show me some of the things that you've made with our fabric and that just made my day. I was absolutely thrilled. And um, it, do you know what? I had dinner with um, Kaif and some of my suppliers on Thursday night and um, they're like, we can't believe you haven't got a stand this year. And I'm like, guys, <laughs> this is, it was a bit of a gamble this year to take one. A, because we were spending one day filming. And B, because, you know, we're only 18 months old. And they're like, really? I was like, yeah, festival wasn't even on last year for us to go. And then this year, <laughs> you know, yeah, mm. They're like, we always think you've been around for ages. And like, well, I've been around for ages, but Natasha Makes hasn't been around for ages. So, um, you know, <laughs> it was just quite interesting. People forget that we're only a small team. We're an amazing team, don't get me wrong. Like, these guys are awesome. But we are only small. Righty ho. So, that's everything cut out. I I'm kind of hoping that was my first instruction. I love these. I just love these. Aren't they fabulous? I've got bright red thread in, and I was just wondering whether or not to change it to black, but I might keep it in red so that it picks up some of this, But um, and then you guys can see it. So here we go. Cut out the velvet bag. Yep, 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 yep. There is an 8 mil seam allowance included. 8 mil, 8 mil. How much is 8 mil in normal money? say in normal money, eight mil is gonna be, so it's not quarter of an inch. Oh, do, 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 do. Eight mil, just over quarter of an inch. We'll go with quarter of an inch, we're fine. Um, oh, five sixteenths, there we go. Basically a quarter of an inch. Um, fix the iron on interfacing or the lining, done that. Um, and it tells you which side. With the leftover lining, you could make a little pocket and sew it on at this stage. Yes, you could. And the other thing that I've I, I've thought is that you could just stitch that on as your pocket because that isn't going to fray. So if you wanted to have a pocket on the inside lining, you could always stitch that down as well, and that would be super gorgeous. So that you've got some design options here, should you wish. Put the two sides of the bag right sides together and stitch the sides and the bottom. Press open the seams on the inside. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, so we're getting straight into the making. Yes, we are. Now, um, this will shift ever so slightly when you first start off. So what I would say, and this is very unlike me, is either pin or clip. Um, because it's not just normal cotton, I would clip. But if you've got a good clip like this or something like that, then that is always good. You just don't want that starting point. And it's not that you need to clip, overly clip it or anything like that. It's just that. I don't, I don't want that shifting, that starting point shifting. That's the only thing that I'm ever concerned about because otherwise it just moves everything down slightly. So I'll pop that there. And that there. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. And this is another reason why when I cut out my lining, I put them right sides together so that I'm just then ready to get stitching straight away as well. Okay, right. Let's stitch everybody. And it is just down the sides that we're going. <coughs> Excuse me. it around next side and 
Now with this, the box, the um, base is already boxed for you. So that cutout is already done for you. So you don't have to worry about that. There we go. So that is that stitched around one, two, three sides. There we are. Okay, so we've done that bit of stitching down there and across there. We're going to do exactly the same now with the lining. Um, apart from, we are going to leave a gap. Now, you know I like to chat, one of my favorite things. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to mark my turning <laughs> through gap. Ah, uh, because, you know, that's that's a thing, isn't it? That's a thing for me. We all know. It's fine. I'm comfortable with it. It's all good. So again, just a couple of clips. Now, you could pin this if you want. It's only your interfacing. Um, and it is a, a cotton, not a velvet. Um, and then we're going to do exactly the same. And then we will box the bottoms. And hurrah. So this is a nice, quick make. Is it a beginner? Yeah, but you are working with velvet and stuff rather than just plain cotton. So it's that's going to be something slightly different for you if you know if you're just starting out. Oh, I went to, to chat to my dukey friends um, at a festival. And they have got the most amazing quilting machine. <laughs> it's just like, guys, come on. And um, it, it's pretty amazing. And I'm thinking of getting one for when we move into our new premises. Would you guys like to be able to come and rent something like that by the hour so that you can quilt your own quilt? Because that would be, <laughs> that would be a way I could justify it to myself. Um, honestly, it's phenomenal, right? It's, it's, um, you put your quilt on it, you clip it on both sides on the frame, but then it's like joysticks and you just press your thumb on the top of the joystick to make it actually quilt. And then you just, wee -hee -hee. you can just go zzz, zzz, if you want to, but you can do all your free, all your free motion all the way it was amazing and any time that you stop um, you don't have to um, sew your ends on or anything like that you just keep it in place for a couple of stitches let go and it cuts it it was phenomenal and you know I like I would quilt if I had that I would I would quilt everything I'd be like back off Jane I'm quilting it um, there'd be fisticuffs and everything they wouldn't uh, <laughs> it did look quite amazing so yeah just um, if that sounds like something that you might want to come and have a play on then uh, when we move into our new into our new warehouse and studio etc etc uh, maybe we'll just have to get one of those you know a bit of hardship wouldn't it um, okay so the next thing we're going to do is box these bottoms so you pull these apart if you want to press your seams open then do um, and then as long as they go across like that we're going to stitch along there and we're going to repeat that for all four bottoms it's a lot of bottoms now every time i'm going forwards and backwards just to secure my stitches because you don't want stuff falling out your bottom do you that sounds wrong as i say it uh, i realize note to self um yeah filter before you speak <laughs> So that's the lining. Uh, honestly, what a super, super, super make this is. It really, it really doesn't take all that long. It does say in the instructions to press that open, but we'll just assume I've done that, shall we? We'll finger press them open now. And I'm just slowing down just as I go over those open seams. 
because if I stitch them open, that's half the battle done, really. So just open those. You can finger press them open if you want. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so now we have, <laughs> bear with me just for one minute. You know I just ripped off all those bits of tape off the ribbon. My flip-flops are sticking to them. I'm like, rip, rip. <laughs> it's like walking through glue back here. Uh, okay, so we've got those done. What do I have to do next? Um... Decoupé le uh, onze enveloppe. Turn it over. <laughs> Which one am I on? Number six, number six, number six. Cut out the velvet handles. Oh, I guess that's decoupé. Yeah, yeah, decoupage, isn't it? It's cut stuff, yeah. Um, fold end to end, right sides together. And sew. Yes, we will. We will sew. Again, I am just going to put, where do I put them here? A little clip just so it doesn't shift when I first start to sew. So, um, oh, wait, oh, here comes Gem. People are asking. The fancy schmancy quilting machine. Fancy schmancy quilting machine. The body wiggle compulsory. The body wiggle, it just happens. It, a, yeah. it just happens. I mean, yeah, they're my salsa hips. I, I can't. Zumba and Quilting well, I, th the I think we all know that I am a qualified Zumba instructor, right? I mean, what are you not? <laughs> what are you not, Tess? Do you know, someone was saying that the other day, and I'm like, yeah, my, my, my yeah, qualified yoga, Zumba, and fencing instructor, you know, I mean, those three go hand in hand, don't they? <laughs> Said no one. Zumba with the sword. I don't want to see that. A Zumba sword? <sighs> Zumba sword of size. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've missed a trick, Gem. I think we've missed a trick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you stay there for a second and just turn these handles through. Only practice with your enemies. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I was trying to explain. It's really hard. Like when you have kids and they are um, poking each other with sticks and playing swords and stuff in the garden, and you try and tell them not to, and then in a later conversation you tell them that actually you teach fencing and they don't believe you, so then you go and get your bag of swords out, <laughs> and and they look at you like, but you were just telling us off for doing that. It's like, mm, yes, I was. Yes, I was. Ah. Uh, don't believe they don't they don't believe any of it i tried to tell them i was good with a gun the other day that didn't go down so well either um i'm just going to stitch across the base of this and again this isn't in the instructions this is just something that i do um simply because when i hand this to Gemma, you can see i've just stitched across the short side there um to turn through because oh, i've snapped one of my sticks Gem. I know, but I snapped one of them. Me, well, I know you with your watch, call it, but this is it. So you want to, th these are the prim turning tools. Yes. Nice. It's before. on your <laughs> list. <laughs> Have you bought one and, it, and it. not used it yet? No, we'll just do. And then... But go flat side with this. You don't want to go through the fabric because you're going to have to give it a little bit of welly as you then poke it through like that and then pull it through like that. So I'll do one just to show everyone in case you don't have a prim turning tool and then I'll give you the other one to do so that we can I'm crack gonna on. You're going to get get what you want. Get, get your prim tool out. Yesterday. There's somebody at the door. I know. I'll find them, Jim. Sworn repeatedly with a chopstick. It does just mean though that you will just have to snip off that end because you're going to be pressing that. Gorgeous, right. And let's quickly stitch that down. 
the handsome man with the nice smile on the beard? Oh. Just watch you know. <laughs> we have no handsome men here no. with beards no. or otherwise, no. do we? None. None. Could you just roll that seam and try and just get a little bit flat for me so that I can, you know. Throw. <laughs> That was like the worst throw. I might be great with a sword, but absolutely rubbish with a ball. <laughs> Just doesn't work. Oh, dear me. I like a nice joint effort. All Gemma is doing is just flattening out, flattening out my seat. Oh, no, she's not. She's rummaging through my box of things. What do you want? Oh, to pull out the... There's a pin there. There you go. I'm going to chop it off anyway. Well, or you can just poke the stick back in. Yeah, I didn't have Oh, there you go. There. Have the stick. Oh do you know, Gemma, one day we're going to be able to do shows together oh actually, God. like, next to each other? I mean. But you're not looking forward to that, are you? Because you'll be like, oh, she's a giant. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it'll be. Yeah. Don't stand too close to me because I look small. Um, that's the conversation that will probably be yeah. had, won't it? Yeah. And, um... I, I'm not going to squat for two hours. Yeah, yeah. No. Good for you. No. Feel the burn and do it anyway. Yeah. Is that it? Okay. Fires of iron or steel. Which is. I don't think there is a squat champion, if right. I'm honest. If there, were, if there were, I'd be it, right? You'd totally, be to be totally be it. When I'm. <laughs> My ex and I used to work with athletes and. Um, Think you, did you guys know I used to run an athlete management company? <laughs> I, I, all the secrets are coming out today. Uh, well, I was Tom Daly's very first agent. Didn't he do amazing, finally getting his gold? Um, when he was, gosh, 10 or 11, I, I was his agent. And um, yeah, 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 bless him. He was such a cute kid. And uh, I'm going to press this open this time. I think it would probably be easier. Yeah. And um, I can't remember where I was going with that story. Did I? Oh, yeah. so, uh, yeah, so it was my ex that was sort of the, the agent. And then we set up our, our own agency and then we ended up splitting up. So I go, you know, anyway. Um, so oh, it helps if that gets hot, I guess, to press this. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> one of the one of the athletes um, was... Um, was a cyclist and I have never seen thighs like it in my life. He used to have to get specially made trousers because he couldn't fit his thighs in anything else. Oh. <laughs> 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 Indeed. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Gemma loves a good thigh, she's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I'm, you know that end that you so carefully just... Uh, yeah, I know you're going to chop it off. I'm going to chop it off because this now needs to lie yeah, flat. Can you have the pit? You want everything. It's all want, 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 isn't it, with you? Go on. <laughs> uh, shove the pink bit. There we go. Yeah. In insert the pink... That's <laughs> the filthy laugh, pin Phil Thomas. <laughs> Good we grief, woman! You, you were the talking about, talking about good, grope. good grief. What did I mean? What did smut. I leave you with? The smut. The s anyway. um, I'm, I'm sorry. Groping fabric. Groping fabric. Oh, groping fabric's fine. Yeah. You don't have to grope fabric. and grope yeah. as fabric as much as you want. Um, so, just I'm oh, going to top easy. stitch. I, I know, right? Super easy. No, Freddie, off you go. Grandma says hello, by the way. She did see you wave. Yeah, Grandma says hello. How many weeks left? I don't know. She says hello, but she'd prefer it if you didn't speak in that baby voice. Mm -hmm. Seven years old. Still, uh, why do they do it? Mm. I had this conversation with another mum. It's only for an audience. Like, you can have the most grown-up conversation about planets and goodness knows what. And then as soon as he thinks someone's listening, the baby voice comes out. Drives me potty. Anywho. I get annoying. I say I don't understand him. Yeah, no, that's all you can oh, do. I'm sorry, Fred. Don't sorry, understand don't, don't understand, baby. <laughs> no, don't understand. No, no, no. Do not. Do. Je ne comprends pas. He understands that, all right? His French is better than mine. Maybe I need, Julia, to get um, Freddie to ring you because his French <laughs> is far better than mine. 
Uh, right, what am I doing next? Um, Centre the seam and top stitch. Yes. Choose the size of handle that suits you. Oh, suit you, sir. I have them long because I is a big old bird. Um, if you're small or even short. Who did I say that to the other day? I think it was Cave, and he just did a double take and just went, oh, I suppose you are. <laughs> <laughs> there was just this moment. I'm, I'm top stitching in bright red, by the way. Beautiful. Um, you know. Are you, are you telling the viewers that so they can see your stitching? That's, yeah, not because I am actually too lazy to change it. But we like a contrast stitching. We do, yes. We do. That is correct. Is that one easier because I pressed it first? Yeah, Does it feel a bit a little bit flatter? Yeah, it wasn't um, difficult the first one. Was I know, yeah, you see it's a good old design this, isn't it? Um for those of you wondering, I've just elongated my stitches. Yeah, this is slightly oh, there goes Jane. So she's like Dr. Doolittle. She's always got a cat attack. Yeah. Have you noticed? Yeah. Half Pint, our old girl, absolutely adores Jane. She waits on the doorstep for her. It's like a little reception committee, isn't she it? She chooses her human. She does choose her human. Who's present. She tried to get in my car the other day. Did she? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Stop it for trying to climb into my car. I couldn't even shut the door. Oh, yeah, she was, wasn't she? I was watching. Yeah. Whee! Whee! Well, you know, been here, if she I would have been Jane's, her. she would have been Jane's. You would have been, you would have been dead to her. <laughs> well, me. What was it I'm SJ really said the me. other day? Oh, HP, I have missed you clawing my leg. <laughs> SJ's not a cat person, and uh, an HP does. Um, she knows it though. She likes to make a bed on her leg. <laughs> <laughs> Poor SJ. Poor SJ. Yeah. There we go. So all I am doing, yeah, do you know what? It made absolutely no difference pressing that seam open first, just so that you all know, don't bother doing that. Just made, didn't make a difference. Um, so I just... like a bit of ironing, which most of us don't. Who does? Oh, no, uh, you see, I'm still trying to track down people who like to iron for their living. That can. loves ironing. Does she? Yeah. Oh, it's well, not it's normal. Not. Really not normal. It's not normal. No, I know. What about that? It's Gemma's mum, Ed's. She does love a bit of, bit of ironing. Unless it's fabric for project. Don't get ironed in this house. Um, I'm just going to do this one as well. Once your handles are cut uh, to the right size, pin them. Bear with, because it does actually tell me which way. I will finish off those instructions. Whee! I do love this machine. It just goes for it and I love that a lot oh no hang on I've come unstuck somewhere. Ah, oh, bobbin chicken has failed me. No. So as everyone, talk amongst yourselves while I... Uh... You do, though, actually. You are very good. You do... Um... You know, right, when you cut your thread, you should pull it through that way and not pull it up that way, don't you? Because you don't want to mess up tensions or some other fine thing. Um... Bobbin chicken. I only filled that yesterday. Mind you, I did make an entire quilt out of it. I was suddenly thinking the other day, actually, just how far these Aurifil spools go. I always used to think that um, Aurifil was a luxury and really expensive as a thread. But now that I actually use them, um, I do now realise that they're... I mean, yes, they're a luxury, but they're not actually expensive for what you get. For the fact that you get a, kil a kilometer of thread per spool, it goes such a long way. Not my bobbin, obviously, my bobbin doesn't go that far. 
No, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. For those of you new to Natasha Makes, Bob and Chicken is a regular feature on the show. It basically means uh, I didn't put in a fresh bobbin at the start of the show and we now have to endure me um, redoing my bobbin on my machine whilst we just talk amongst ourselves. <laughs> but luckily, you lot are pretty good at having a little chat um, amongst yourselves. It's one of the things I love about you lot is that you've, um, you've all made friends nicely. You all play nicely together. Um, come on, Thread. Why do you not wish to go? Ah, there we go. This is not just like a top-loading bobbin. Um, no, no. No, 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 that would be easy. This one has to do all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Because this is, for those of you who are wondering what I'm sewing on today, it is my TL2200 QVP Mini. It's basically a tabletop industrial. Um, it only does a straight stitch, but it does it mighty well. So some of you might want to, when you're working with your velvet and whatnot, you might want to um, use a walking foot you might want to do that but for me with this machine it goes like the clappers I've obviously because I take this to the craft store as well managed to damage my um, uh, my what's it called needle threader that's <laughs> the one again not a difficult word but there we go um, so it doesn't want to th needle thread at the moment, but they are, I don't know if you know, I'm, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, they are actually considered to be consumables on machines. They are something that will go. So they're never anything that's going to be really covered by your, um, by your warranty because they are things that wear out and will be, need to be replaced. So I don't feel too bad about it. I just totally forgot to actually buy one when I saw the Juki guys. Now, let's now make these the same length. Let it be so. Snip that off. Now, if you want to keep that, um, in, right in the middle. So I don't know if you can see, let me just show you this. You've got in the middle, you've got a beautiful little flower. So if you want to change these at all, and if you want to sharpen them, uh, shorten them or anything like that, then what I would really recommend, um, so say I want to shorten it, is shortening it at both ends. so that they stay in the middle. So there they are in the middle there. There we go, so that's everything shortened and done. Hurrah. And it's just, it's just, uh, you know, just otherwise, if you take like a couple of inches off one side, well, I guess that'll just show you through differently, won't it? Right. Okay. Here we go. We're on to Ello. She's back again. We have inquiries around HP and if she's well, because we've not seen her. Oh, inquiries about HP. <laughs> right. So there was one particular show where I did have to apologize for the audience because I was so engrossed in what I was doing I didn't realize that HP had come here and was waving her backside at the camera and of course they are they're self-adjusting autofocus cameras in HD so for a good 30 seconds you got HP's ass for a good 30 <laughs> seconds in full so since that day we do try like they're not allowed in the cutting room, they're not allowed near the fabric, but they are allowed because this is, you know, we don't keep the fabric fabric in here, so they are allowed in the studio. Uh, but yeah, it, it wasn't her finest profile. <laughs> 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 but 
but she yeah she is she's really well so in summer hp likes to live on the doorstep she's you know some people have lions either side of their front door uh we just have hp on the mats in yeah for, for us and everyone to trip over and then she comes in bops the boys around the face and uh merrily wends her way uh, around the place but yeah so for summer you won't really see much of hp because she'll be on the doorstep um but maybe she'll want to come and be a studio cat at the new studio she might we have had the very helpful suggestion that if we do have to work next to each other to overcome the height difference we could just suspend me from the ceiling we could suspend you from the ceiling oh like a trapeze artist yeah. i mean that's an option <laughs> now <laughs> Haley at the craft store they actually built her a wheelie block because she couldn't actually see over the counter if they put all of us up. So they actually built her a wheelie block. I'm just throwing that out as yeah, a suggestion. Um, it's not rude, it's <laughs> practical. It's just practical. Come on, look, come on, come here, come here, come here, come here. This is, this is what, oh, you've got no slap on. Well, turn the other way then, there we go. This, this is what she's talking about. The fact that we are basically Patsy and Ed's. <laughs> Sweetie darling. It has, it has been known, hasn't it? <laughs> That's what one of the delivery guys calls us, isn't it? <laughs> I'll take that. I'm quite happy to take that. She's amazing. Even if she is like 80 or something ridiculous now. Um, I don't know. I don't know. She just, she's just amazing. Um, oh, the other thing, sorry. Which I will despise and loathe. Right, good. Okay. Is that there needs to be a full interview with you at some point with a full biography <laughs> of your life. Can you hear this? A, a full interview of me with a full biography of my life. What? No, because I'll just forget. I'll, my brain will go dead and, and then I just can't remember a thing. I'll start making notes. So do you know what, actually? Somebody did say to me that, um, on Facebook, they're like, do you, what, what, what? Just, you're, how do you have so much energy? Like, seriously, how? And, and I, I gave a really, really honest answer. And when I was 17, my friend Lizzie fell off a horse and died. And um, she hadn't done anything. She hadn't done anything with her life. And I'd known her since I was three. And, um, and I, I made a promise then that I wouldn't waste my life, that I would try and fill, just fill it. This is what I've done. I've just, I've said yes to anything that has presented itself. <laughs> <laughs> giving it a go and uh and yeah and I, and I do that because Lizzie couldn't and that's you know that was that yeah, so bonus. you know that was that and and so yeah I'd, I realized that the other day and I was like oh no that's why I do it all right once your handles are cut out to the right size pin them the side with the patterns to the velvet face yes so that is what we are going to do um pin them into the middle there in fact, if you want to baste it, then do. Because you know what I'm like with pins. Really bad. I'm hoping that's right. And just be aware that you want to make sure, and I'll do this out here, that you're not twisting this in any way you want all of that to be face down in the I'm not sure, I can't remember if I'm meant to be basting across here. I might be making a huge error right now. But um, if so, I can always unpick. It's on a long stitch. So again, in that middle section there, like so. Fabric side to fabric side. So pattern side to pattern side. So basically right sides together is what we're saying. And when I'm basting in place, I'm on a long stitch and I'm going within what would be my seam allowance. Just shows you know. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Is that untwisted? I'm doing it a bit ham-fisted. Um, oh, that sort of rhymed, didn't it? Dee -dee 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 -dee. 
Maybe I'm. Here we are. So, uh, next thing is going to be, once your handles are cut, there we go, pin to make sure the seams coincide with the stitch. Um, ha, 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 because we're now going to turn this the right way through. This used to always confuse me knowing um, which one to turn through the right, so right way, blah, 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 which one, which one, which one. But basically, as long as you are right sides together with your fabric. It doesn't matter which one you turn through, the outer or the lining. It just doesn't matter. I'd forgotten how much I love this line. Look at that. Look at that. Whew. Yeah. In it goes. Now, first thing that we're going to do um, is we are going to match up those seams. Open the seams, match them up. And clip them in place. And that is always going to be my starting point. Ba, 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 ba. Here we go. Now I know that this has been quite a long demo, but absolutely worth it I believe so that you can really haha <laughs> get a handle on it all there we go now then we are going to stitch All the way up and around. And if we had the time, I would clip all of this so carefully. But as it is, now if you want to, if you want to pin your actual handles out of the way then do um, but because I've centered them they should hopefully sit within the seam allowance it worked with the first one <laughs> that's what I'm going to say first time round it worked let's hope second time round is going to be the same as well but you would feel it because you'd feel that bump and going through extra layers so what we do now, obviously you would clip, 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 clip all the way around. We are going to, and it takes a little bit of time this, but all around this top, so all the way around, we are going to sew, okay? And that's, that is then it. We've pretty much done it. Um, now, there is, if you want to, and this is the same with the click clack bag if you want to then you can add in some card or um, our s80 which is hiding under there um, you can sit that in the base once we turn everything through but i'll let you know that when we get there so i'm going to start at, a, at on the seam here um, just because it's a bit that you're normally going to see and we are going to work our way round okay Gently does it, right, guys? Gently does it. Here we go. So I've clipped the top so that I know that where I'm aiming for, we're all going to be good. And you don't have to go at it hell for leather. And when I get to the top and I sew across, of course, I've already got my bag top already um, 
in place there. And you'll feel when you come off that handle, um, and there we go, I can just then push it that away so that I don't stitch over it. But there is, there is going to be that moment, by the way, when you're like, did I stitch my handle accidentally into my bag? Just sewing around that curve. And now I haven't, and actually there is a bit there where I've gone a little bit wonky. I would go back and re just re-stitch. I'm just trying to think if on the other one I top stitched once I'd turned it through. I can't remember. I'll have to go back and have another look. I might have done, you know. But slow and steady wins on this. You know how I normally go at stuff a million, million miles an hour. You'll notice I'm just not doing that here. There is no point. This is, I want this to be gorgeous. And yet I'm sewing through some layers, so I'm actually still on a slightly longer stitch length. That's okay. You know, when you're dealing with something like a velvet. Oh, way up. I hear the flip-flop of tiny feet. People are saying that the lining fabric is far too beautiful to be a lining. Oh, the lining fabric is too beautiful to be a lining. But, 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 but you will see it. Like, you will see it. So don't, don't worry. Oh, yeah, 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 you could make two bags, pick another lining fabric, but you might want to then use something, well, you'd probably, I would pick a canvas for the outside, I'd go for a heavier weight, or just interface that outer fabric. Right, we are halfway through, by the way, just uh, in case anyone's wondering, checking their watch or anything like that. Someone else was asking if we have that poppy fabric. Um, well, we have, oh, well... Do you know what? That is another question to have. So this is the thing, guys. When Odile creates her own fabrics, she only does a really limited print run. Now, we've been lucky that we managed to ask for enough that it was worth her while getting some more. Um, but I think Julia said that that was now it. So if you are after any of these type fabrics, please get them now. And it's the same with the Free Spirit one. If you're loving the Free Spirit one as well, which I know a lot of you had already started buying before the hour. If you are loving that fabric, then just be aware that they do one print. It's not like Keith, where he's got like a classics and they reprint. When it's with Free Spirit, when they've printed that collection, um, apart from with Keith, um, he's got a bit of a back catalogue when it's printed it's done so if you do see a fabric that you think you're going to want to use a lot of you know you know what i'm saying i don't need to spell that out for you hey hey look at this it's all happening gem it's all happening it is a beautiful thing it's a really handy sized bag. I was tempted to take it to festival with me and I was like, no, if I spill coffee or something down it. Because um, Starbucks was not open at the NEC. So I don't know if they just thought that, you know, quilters don't drink coffee. <laughs> How wrong could they be? But I know that Kay and Brandon were a bit like, um, so... Um, because it's their long days that they were doing, really long days that they were doing. Well, yeah. So I, I took them in a flask of Costa coffee. Just to see them through the day. Right. 
now I did say didn't I that there was one bit up here that I was just going to restitch I just went a little bit close So we'll just restitch that. And there's nothing wrong in that, you know. If you if there's a bit that you want to just go back go back through and do, then do. Right. The moment of truth. Are we excited? Can you even I mean at this moment it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? I, I will I'll give you that. It does look a little bit weird. But 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 and this is where we see whether or not I've actually stitched through the handles or managed to avoid them. <laughs> we shall see. Do you know, handles <laughs> do help you birth a bag more easily. Oh, would I recommend a jeans needle? You know I don't use a jeans needle. Um, look, if you are worried, but here's the thing, right? You, For me, with these things, yes, if you want to use a jeans needle, use a jeans needle or go completely the opposite way as I did and just go finer. I've gone finer so it just goes through and you've seen, you know, it's not been a problem. It's just not been a problem. In. That is a bit gorgeous. I will press it from the lining side to get it all to sit. If you want to, then you can top stitch around. You know, that's the thing that will keep everything in place. But my word. Who doesn't love a cockatoo? Well, <laughs> who does not love a cockatoo? I mean, that is, that is the question. Did you just come and stand there just to say that? That was just your line, wasn't it? That's all you wanted to do was say, who does not love a cockatoo? Um, I'm just pleased that I got the handles on the right way. That's, and untwisted as well. Oh, she's a one. Oh, filth, I tell you. Pure filth, that one. Um, completely ignores the swallows. <laughs> I've not made that any better, have I? I <laughs> right, there we go. Uh, so yeah, if you want to top stitch around and hold that in place, then you can. Um, the other thing is, okay, so if you want to put in a 21 by 9 centimeter base, then you can. As you see, this is holding its own um, quite beautifully. But if you want to get something like, such as our... Um, S80. The S80 is, um, yeah, how much is nine? That is going to be three and a half inch strip. Let's quickly cut a three and a half inch strip up here. Um, done everything in centimeters, haven't they? Because they is French. Uh, but yeah, so this, this will just give a little bit of oomph to the base of your bag. But like I say, you can pop in a bit of cereal. Uh, off of the bottom of your cereal bag or Amazon packaging or whatever. Um, and that needs to be by 21, which is eight and a quarter. Let's look at that, shall we? And if you want to have it even firmer, then, you know, apply two layers. Easy, but it is just a little piece like that, that before you... Um, so that bag lining up, and this is why you have the lining, by the way, you leave your turning through gap in the base of your lining, nowhere else, but you can just pop that in there. If you want to use, um, there is one that we do that uh, you, can, you can bond in place, heat bond in place, but there we go, that's there. If you want to apply a little bit of quilter's tape or something to hold it there or a little bit of an adhesive, just don't go crazy with like a really wet adhesive that's going to go through the bottom. But if you want to hold it in place with that, then you can. But otherwise, that is my bag du jour. It's actually called the trapeze bag. But, you know, in the interest of sounding French, I think that is really rather fabulous. 
And that's that colorway. And of course, we've also got it here in that colorway. And also in the pink with your fish and your kingfishers on. So there we go. They are your options today. Yes, I did top stitch around. Yeah, I will top stitch around that one. But there we go. Um, thank you ever so much for watching. Tomorrow we are doing some Lisa Chandler based goodies. Oh yes, yes, yes. And let me just show you what we will have on the show tomorrow, which um, I was a little bit sneaky. So Lisa does lots of exhibitions um, down in Australia. And the last one that she did, she had specially made, I'm gonna take it off here, um, specially made these. Now I know you love a pin badge, so let me show you these. Enamel Waratahs. Now, these pin badges were only available for those going to Lisa's exhibition. However, however, um, COVID meant it got cut short. So Lisa had some left over. So she very kindly offered them up to me as part of a kit. So you can buy tomorrow on the show, I think they might be loaded already, the Melba Tool Tidy. There it is. We've made the Tool Tidy before, but you get full instructions and you get the limited edition badge in this. So you've got all of your fabrics, everything to make it. It's the full kit. That's what it makes. You put all your tools and everything. And then she's put a little divider so you can pop your scissors and bits and bobs in. And then, are these loaded, Gem? They are scheduled. They are sch they scheduled. They go live tomorrow. Do we want to make everyone wait that long? We'll have a conversation about that. <laughs> um, but there they are. Rather fabulous, aren't they? You can set them live, can you? Go on then. Make it live. Let it be so. Is there anything else I need to know before we go? I've just, has everyone seen your beautiful bubble top coin purse? Has everyone seen my bubble top coin? Oh, look at my little bubble top coin purse. Yeah, so this was inspired by a picture that I saw um, of, um, what was it? Um, oh yeah, I think it was one of O'Deal's and she'd, she'd got some of these and I was like, I've had some of these kicking about for ages, not knowing what to do with them. And then, yeah, I just thought, yes, absolutely. So we've got all different colours, like I say, um, a coin purse is a coin purse, isn't it? But it does give you, just in case you don't have, um, just gives you full instructions, photographic step-by-step -step instructions as to how to make one of those with these cute little tops. And uh, look, I was just, this was why I was a couple of seconds late coming to air, because I just started to, um, to stitch in my red top. There we are. So you can get different coloured ones. They're rather cute. So there we go. Right, so please do join me tomorrow where we'll be doing a fabulous Lisa Chandler bag and we'll have those on the show if Gemma doesn't set them alive already. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So take care. Stay so Oh, hello. I'll show them tomorrow. I'll show them tomorrow. Um, take care, stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.